Hey guys, this is Steve from Trim That Weed, and welcome to our video of some of the best gardening tools for beginners. Watch until the end to find out which is our best recommendation from the list. First on the list is Digging Spade. When gardening, even when it's only light gardening, you almost always have to have a digging spade. It comes in handy when you have to shovel small amounts of soil, or when you have to make a hole big enough to plant a large flower or tree seedling. A digging spade is best suited for use in soils that are not too compact, as it has the ability to scoop out soil with ease. Hand Shovel Just like a digging spade, a hand shovel allows you to make holes in the ground when you need to plant something. The main difference is that a hand shovel will definitely make a smaller hole, as it is a smaller tool. You will need it for planting small vegetables and seedlings, and for uprooting seedlings from the nursery bed to transfer to the main garden. Garden Fork Used to dig out large mounds of soil, a garden fork is essential for regions of your garden where the soil is heavily compacted. The fork design is especially ideal because it allows the tool to wedge itself deep into the soil, granting you access to softer ground below. It's important to note that this tool requires a lot more energy than a digging shovel does. Secateurs These are one of the most important tools for gardening beginners. They're pretty versatile, and you can use them to prune your fruit trees, and even to harvest some kinds of fruit, such as apricots, oranges, lemons, and other similar fruits. They also come in handy when you need to make cutting for grafting and similar activities. They are, however, pretty small and may not handle thick twigs very well. Pruning Shears Pruning shears work just like secateurs, but they're built to handle larger types of work. They can be able to cut larger twigs of shrubs and bushes, especially when you have maintenance work. There are several types of pruners that include bypass pruners for greenwood and live plants, ratcheting pruners that are long for high shrub fences, and anvil pruners for branches and dead wood. Rake. These are incredibly practical for gardens that have loads of leaves falling every so often. They also prove ideal for collecting debris, such as small branches, freshly mowed grass, and pruned twigs. If you're looking for a versatile tool, you might want to get yourself an adjustable rake that can fit into tight spaces. Garden hoe. A garden hoe works like a garden fork, but this one does not have the forked contraption. It can be used in compact and loose soils. Different hoes work in different environments, with veggie gardens requiring one that is wide and sturdy, and perennial gardens calling for thinner hoes. When buying one, make sure that it's comfortable to use, so that it fits your hand properly, and that it has ideal reach for you. Garden Hose You'll need to water your plants from time to time, and one of the best and most practical places to start is a garden hose. This is easy to use since all you have to do is connect it to a tap and water your plants. You can use an adjustable nozzle that lets you change the pressure and reach of the water to avoid damaging plants that require low pressure. Wheelbarrow You might need one of these to move your plants and equipment around your garden. A wheelbarrow also comes in good handy if you need to transfer soil from one place to another, or to carry fertilizer to your plants. Make certain that you keep it dry to keep it from rusting, and that you lubricate the wheels for easy maneuvering. Watering can This can sometimes be a lot more practical than a garden hose, it's most ideal for watering plants that are in small pots, or those that are far from where your garden hose would typically reach. It's great for the patio, and for indoor plants as well. Gardening Gloves If you do not like to come into direct contact with the soil, you might want to get your hands on a pair of gardening gloves. The best are heavy gauge, and they're also water-resistant, so that you do not have to come into contact with a muddy mess when you're working. For most ideal use, go for a pair that reaches just below your elbows. Which is the best one? Because it's an all-around and practical for all activities, the most important tool to have is a hand shovel, since it can be used for planting, transferring seedlings, adding manure, and other activities. That's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching, and let us know which video you'd like to see next from us.